Hi, my name is Keith Arnold with Ten Point and Wicked Ridge Crossbows, and I'm here today to talk to you about broadheads for crossbows. So there's two types of basic broadheads for crossbows. There's fixed broadheads that have fixed blades, and this is um, the most time-tested, uh, you know, the fixed broadheads have been out for a very long time. So we have fixed broadheads, and then we have mechanical broadheads. And mechanical broadheads are, are where the blades open up upon impact. First, we'll go over fixed blade broadheads. So as I stated, fixed broadheads have been around for a really long time. They offer some inherent advantages, one typically being durability. Two, um, fixed broadheads often provide better penetration than a lot of other broadhead styles. One thing about fixed broadheads is you do want to practice with them prior to hunting because br fixed broadheads can impact differently than your field tips. Next, we have mechanical broadheads. And by mechanical broadheads, I mean broadheads where the blades open up um, upon impact with the target. Here you can see um, when it's shot, the blades are closed. And upon impact, the blades will open up to their full size, offering a larger hole. One benefit of mechanical broadheads is that, as I stated, um, the blades are closed during flight and that ensures that they will typically fly just like your field tips and you'll get the greatest level of accuracy out of a mechanical broadhead. Secondly, mechanical broadheads typically have larger cutting diameters. This broadhead happens to have a 1 and 7 eighths inch cutting diameter. So a larger cutting diameter typically means a larger hole on the animal and it means uh, oftentimes you'll get a better blood trail which helps in recovering the animal. So again, we have uh, a mechanical broadhead. We recommend the rear deploy broadhead, so where the blades deploy to the rear for faster crossbows, um, as some broadhead designs with an over-the-top uh, style blade de deployment can open up early if shot out of a, a crossbow that's too fast, causing the arrow to veer um, and creating accuracy issues. As I mentioned earlier with the uh, fixed blade broadhead, these provide fantastic penetration. I mean, as you can see in this foam, it goes in like butter. To ensure the greatest level of accuracy with fixed broadheads, like I said, um, you definitely need to shoot with them prior to hunting. Um, to ensure the greatest level of accuracy with fixed broadheads, um, you really should make sure that they are uh, properly installed on your arrows and that the alignment is straight. Here I'm using an arrow spin checker to make sure that when I spin the arrow, there's no wobble here at the point. If all of our arrows have the broadhead oriented properly so that there's no wobble, that will give you your greatest accuracy out of fixed blade broadheads. At the end of the day, the choice between broadheads is a personal preference. With crossbows, uh, for the general public and a lot of individuals, I recommend typically a mechanical or an expandable broadhead because it's going to provide um, field tip accuracy uh, for individuals who may or may not have time to practice with their broadheads prior to hunting. Thanks for watching today, and if you have any questions, go to 10pointcrossbows.com.